Now I want to talk about the different things you need to do to implement Site Contact on your website. Now Site Contact is a software that you can use to collect leads from your website and then message them on your Facebook. So of course your website, your web page is involved and you need to put in a special code on your web page just like as you would put some opt-in code, some opt-in form code on the web page to collect those leads. So let me show you how that's gonna work. Now over here we have something called whitelist your domain and it's there for each page that you've set. You can see the box, you can see the button over here, whitelist your domain. And this is very important because before you can actually get the code, now this is where you get the codes. There are four types of codes. I'll come to them in a minute. But before you can implement any of these code and have them working, you need to tell Facebook that you give the page the permission to collect your leads because you don't want people just incorporating your code anywhere randomly and, and sending you trash leads. Now, nobody does that, but of course, Facebook is secure and they want you to whitelist the domains that you want to collect the lead from. And to do that, you need to click on the whitelist your domain button. You'll see a list of the domains that you whitelisted over here. So you can see some domains that I whitelisted already. And any domain that you want to whitelist, just put in the URL over here. Make sure you put the entire URL, including HTTP or HTTPS as the case may be and the final top level domain like .com or whatever. So this is the domain that I want to whitelist. You can have one domain on each line. So if you've got two domains that you want to whitelist for this list, just put both. And once you're done, click on add domain. And once the domains have been added, you will get a message, success, domains whitelisted successful. And if you reload the page, you will see your domains listed over here. So I added mysite.com and mysite2.com both of which are now a part of the website. So this is how you whitelist the domain. And now let's go to the second step, getting the code to put on your website. So back to Facebook pages. So we're back on the Facebook pages section and you can see that we have four get code buttons. Now each button will give you a type of plugin that you can use to retrieve the leads with. The first is the checkbox plugin. I'm gonna show you how it works. So this is the checkbox plugin in action. Whenever you put this on the form, whenever you put this plugin on a web page, you will get this little checkbox that people can check and you can have a call to action right above it or wherever you want. And when people click on your submit button for your form, they'll be, they'll be opted in successfully using the plugin. To get the code for the plugin, click on get code and you will need to enter the domain that you wanna work with. So if it is, mysite.com now this is the domain that you had whitelisted you can also choose the plugin size and you will see a little preview and here's the code that you want to put in in your page click on copy and you can then put in on the page where you want the plugin to work and this code is to be put in on the submit button in the js section let me show you what to write so if this is your your button code input type submit then you gotta add an on click function on click equals to and just put in the code this code over here window.confirm opt-in that's all you need to write put it in double quotes and just add it on the submit button of your opt-in form and that's all you need to do to make sure that the people who check box who click the checkbox are opted in next we have the customer chat plugin let me see let me show you how this is implemented so this is how it's implemented. I have implemented a call to action and here your visitor will see a little chat box which says chat now so they can start a conversation with you by clicking on chat now right inside a website. They can put in any message you want and as soon as they put in a message to you, they will be subscribed and you will be able to start a conversation with them inside your messenger. So this method will actually engage your viewers and you'll also subscribe them so you can send them a broadcast but you can also talk to them inside the messenger so this is the chat plugin customer chat plugin and again click on get get code click on put in your domain whatever domain you have that you whitelisted of course click on copy the code and just paste it inside your form anywhere anywhere for the checkbox plugin because it's for the chat plugin because it appears on the side and your visitors will see the chat chat box and they'll be able to subscribe by typing a message to you on the chat box. 
And finally, we've got the messages plugin and this plugin, the last one, you can send a personal message. Your customers can send a personal message to you by clicking on the messages function. They will be shown the messenger screen. They can type out whatever message they have. So right over here, they can type out any message. You'll get that messenger inside your messenger and they will be opted in at the same time. So whenever you want to broadcast, you can broadcast to them. And again, click on get code, select the messenger plugin style, click on copy, paste this code where you want the messenger button to appear. And that's it. That's how people can subscribe to you very, very easily. With checkbox plugin, they just need to click a checkbox. With the customer chat plugin, they can start conversations. With the send to messenger plugin, all they need to do is click a button. And the, with the messages plugin, they click on it and they're taken to messenger where they can send you a message, start a conversation and also be opted in. So people can opt in all any of the four ways and you can implement any of the four ways wherever you want and get people to sign up on your site contact. Whoever signs up is signed up to your list. Like I showed you earlier in the dashboard section, you will be able to see how many people are signed up right over here and you can send them a message through the broadcast message. So we're gonna go to that next.